Good morning everybody, Tuesday morning. Um, I apologise in advance for the noise outside. I don't know, there's some road works going on, I think. I should have done this video upstairs, really. Um, I wasn't around yesterday. I had um, meetings with uh, the Parkinson Society and we were discussing things in general, progress in general, of which there's little towards um, eradicating this terrible disease, um, how to help people with the Parkinson's and with the dement Lewy body's dementia with which it's associated. I know that the, um, the squeezy balls that you can get, well, um, they're like different fruits. Alfie's got the pineapple, the peach, the, um, what's the other one? I don't know, the melon or something. He's got about four of them. Um, and they help. I mean, I like to use them myself. Like, they're like stress things. Um, so I'm going to go out today and there's eight residents where Alfie is. So I'm going to buy a ball a piece, which um, they're about four pounds, so it's about thirty-two pounds, which is what about uh, fifty dollars in US. So I'm going to get them one a piece, in, including Alfie, although Alfie's got quite a few at present. Um, and there are different things that can be obtained to help people because um, they've gone back into that, in a way, beautiful childlike world where they find comfort. For example, the old-fashioned telephones um, seem to be quite popular also. So we were discussing these things yesterday and um, it's impelled me to go out and buy some more of these um, little pieces of fruit stuff people um yes i've heard and i've seen something on youtube which doesn't surprise me in the least um my ugh, opinion is just ignore it what would you do if you walked in a cow path and you had all this muck on your shoe what would you do would you go home clean your shoe as best you could and sit there talking to the muck telling it please don't smell so much um don't put your, yourself in the in the path of people blah 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 you'd be crackers to do so wouldn't you you just get rid of the muck and probably get rid of your shoes. So that's my advice to you. That's the analogy I would draw between the cow paths and the bullies on YouTube. You ignore and you rid yourself of them in your life. Just don't take any notice. You know, the things that matter in this world the most powerful energy is love the most powerful energy and first of all you must love yourself self-love self-acceptance self-respect self-confidence all of those things nurture them Meditate each day. Meditate if you can each morning to bring those things into your being to restore your heart and nurture your soul. Because without those things, without the self-acceptance, self-love, self-respect, self-confidence, you're going to have very little in this life. You're going to be knocked down and be unable to get up. You're going to be ridiculed and not be able to withstand it. 
But when you've got that in your life, none of it matters. It really doesn't. I, I had to laugh. It's one thing having stupidity via one person, but then when they're doing a double act and you've got stupidity in tandem, my goodness, how on earth do these people get through life with the barely functioning brain cells that they have? I really don't know. But concentrate, please on love and enlightenment and all that that brings because that's all of what's important of what's important to you and to your loved ones and to your friends have a drink don't be afraid to meditate don't be afraid to pray. Don't be afraid to delve deep into yourself, questioning yourself, trying to find answers when sometimes there might appear to be no answers at all. If you can do that, and if you can avoid feeling anger, the need to retaliate, or debasing yourself by bringing yourself to the level of these idiots. Just don't do it. Nurture your heart and nurture your soul. And find strength within yourself because it's there. Thought for the day. Virginia Woolf. I don't know whether any of you have heard the, the writer Virginia Woolf. Um, very prolific, well-known writer. And one of her phrases went something like... And it relates to meditation, I suppose, really. And it's... Do not go. Do not go. Do not sink. Hold this moment in your heart forever. You know, with Alfie, I have many such moments. Like on Friday, Saturday, I apologise. Saturday, when I went to see him, um, having been in Wales for a few days, and Alfie looked up at me and said, Hello, Anne. You can't imagine how amazing that moment was. That's a moment I will hold in my heart forever. As most of you know, I'm with my husband every day. 
for about four hours every day. And it's quality time. Even though Alfie might go off to sleep, um, I believe he still knows I'm there, just like the um, subliminal messages with the meditation. You know, you can switch the tape off, uh, sorry, fall asleep and leave the tape on. And whilst it's running, these messages still implant themselves into your brain. And I think when I'm with Alfie and I'm massaging him and I'm talking to him and telling him how much I love him, I'm sure that he knows. And those moments sink into his brain and into his heart also. So that would be my message via Virginia Woolf. Don't sink with the moment. Hold the moment in your heart forever. And please, don't rise to the bait of idiots. Because actually you don't have to rise to the bait. You have to sink. Please don't sink. Keep away. Have a wonderful day everybody. And lots of love. I'll be back later in the week. Very tired today, but uh, I'll be back probably tomorrow. Okay, bye bye.